Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and start this meeting. We've got a few members that are on their way. Uh, Roy McCain, McLean. Representative Powell, committee members, thank you for the opportunity to address you today. I stand here before you in support of HB 875. My name is Roy McLean, and I hold an undergraduate degree in religion from St. Leo University, cum laude with a minor in criminal justice, and I work in issues concerning risk-based security every day. I spent 24 years in the United States Air Force, the first half active duty and the second half in the reserves, and I currently have more than 36 years of federal service. I know something about how government works and the areas that government should not be involved. I can definitively declare that government should not be involved with decisions that congregations make concerning their worship and private property. In this conversation, we've heard from a number of people claiming to represent one group or another. It's clear that some of them don't seem to have even read or uh, read with much comprehension what HB 875 will or will not do. It will restore to a congregation the rightful owner of such decisions, what they choose to do on their own property. It removes from government interference in private property matters. It will not require congregations to do anything that they aren't currently do, doing or don't want to do. Let me read that again. It will not require congregations to do anything that they aren't currently doing or don't want to do. Would a Christian congregation or other group of faith-based people stand for government telling them how that they may or may not participate in sacraments of their sacred um, rituals? Would a Christian congregation stand for government defining the method of serving communion? How about requiring hair nets, food handlers, gloves, and mouth and nose coverings for communion? Would a Christian congregation stand for government involvement in other choice of an acceptable version of which Bible that they're going to uh, read from, pre-1611 uh, King James, Oxford edition, or the NIV? Would a Christian congregation stand for government controlling how they feed the hungry? See communion above. Think food preparation permits and government inspections. A case could be made that each of these things could or even should be regulated for the common good. You've heard a lot of that today and yesterday. I say let the congregation choose what they believe to do, their right course of action, so that it is with protection of persons within that community of believers. Simply stated, HB 875 takes excessive government intervention out of what would otherwise be a simple property rights issue. We've all heard the story of the sheep, the sheepdog, and the wolf story. And the Lord knows that I'm a man of prayer, but the Lord gave us a brain to use to come in out of the rain and to stay away from de uh, unnecessary danger. There are wolves and predators in our world today. This much we all agree on. Please don't let political agendas hide behind the government on this issue when they would espouse the exact opposite of any other intrusion into their worship or property rights. I urge you to vote in the affirmative and to send HB 875 to the floor for a full and extensive hearing. Thank you for your time. Any questions? Thank you, Mr. McLean. We do have one. Ms. Waits. Thank you, sir. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for your comments. I had a question for you. We've had several examples, specifically recently in the Rockdale Conyers area where an individual came into a church yes, and uh, displayed violent activity. Can you offer any examples where a parishioner would need to have access to a weapon in a place of worship? Oh, there's a case in Colorado Springs where a parishioner happened to be in the parking lot, saw a shooting taking place, uh, intervened, and stopped the, uh, the event there. There are others. I don't have them at my fingertips. But not in Georgia. Uh, I don't have one in Georgia. Okay. okay. Would you not agree that this bill also takes away control of local authorities to govern on the issues of gun access, meaning we have more government control versus local control? Would you not think that this bill usurps the local control? Oh, no. This bill gives local control back to the churches. It lets them do what they choose to do in their private property. Thank you. Any, anyone else? Thank you. Any other questions? Thank you, Reverend. We appreciate it.